Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about compatibility between the zodiac signs Aries and Taurus. And yes, it does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. And I'm talking about as far as romantic and, uh, and just general relationship slash uh, friendship uh, situation. So uh, you look at this combination and as far as um, Aries goes, Aries it can be uh, very spontaneous, quick, and impulsive. Uh, Taurus uh, is a sign that can be very methodical, plotting, and deliberate. Taurus is often about premeditation, planning ahead. Aries likes to move at a very accelerated pace often there, or they can be very impatient and in a hurry. And Taurus likes to bide his or her time. So I think that's the main thing to look, to, to look as far as the disparity between these uh, two signs. I do believe they are a neutral in, in terms of the compatibility between uh, the two of them. I think there's good aspects and bad uh, to this connection. I, I see adjacent side uh, signs as neutral and when, when this uh, combination exists, well, as I stated about before, the different with Aries being at an accelerated pace, so to speak, and Taurus moving very methodically, one could help maybe kind of uh, balance the other, perhaps to some degree, and maybe uh, Taurus can kind of slow Aries down uh, to a certain level and, and have them maybe think things through before making certain impulsive decisions sometimes. And I think when you look at um, and, and Aries can kind of get Taurus uh, to initiate and embark on projects quicker. Taurus can actually help Aries consummate or, or finish projects, I believe, while Aries is more about the enterprise and initiation of them and can help Taurus get things going, uh, so to speak. As far as uh, like love goes in, in, in a romance situation, you, you look at this, well, that we, we know that uh, Aries is ruled by Mars and Taurus is governed by, ruled by Venus. Now, Aries uh, can have a very strong sex drive because being ruled by Mars and Venus being a planet of love, it, it rules Taurus. So Taurus can be very demonstrative and, and sensual and Aries can be very sexual. It can actually not be a bad combination as far as it, like a sexual romantic type uh, relationship. It's just that it's the Aries hurried pace and things and the Taurus moving at that deliberate pace is where you might have some conflict uh, with this. And the thing about this is, too, you look at things uh, in, in a relationship, whether it's a friendship or otherwise, uh, especially in, like if you're in a romantic relationship with each other, um, that as far as from a monetary standpoint, I, I see uh, Taurus can be uh, strongly about holding on to money and being reluctant to spend it, maximizing the dollar, so to speak. And when you have Aries, Aries has that impetuous, impulsive way and, and really is not is not going to be thinking about holding on uh, to the funds quite as much. On the positive side, you might be able to get one to help maybe kind of uh, balance each other out uh, to some degree as far as maybe the spending uh, would go. As Aries, it can be, and Aries can also be very generous and, and magnanimous too as far as funds go and Taurus can actually be generous as well it might not always be with money but they both can share that magnanimous side in their own way it just may be conveyed or shown in, di in a different manner from each other so when you really when you look at these two uh, as well they both can be very uh, single-minded and purposeful and uh, that's one thing they have that's positive in common uh, as far as really uh, and having a, having a certain focus and not letting outside or extraneous influences to impact either one of them. However, you have Taurus is, is a little bit more persistent, I think, with Aries because Aries can often get impatient and will not always finish what, what is actually uh, initiated. And the thing about, so you have a little bit of a difference there. And um, the, the two of these, uh, the, both of these signs actually, uh, they, they, Taurus is being a fixed sign. 
obviously Taurus is not the type to cave in. Aries, even though it's a cardinal sign, can sometimes be willful and have and really be very uh, set and uncertain in some of their beliefs as well. Maybe not obviously not as quite as much as Taurus. So Aries sometimes can be somewhat disputatious and argumentative, and Taurus is not one that's going to uh, back down if it comes down to it in, in an argument type situation. So those are some things uh, to look at as far as uh, this combination goes. So it might be best for Aries to be a little bit less argumentative and combative uh, in, in, a, in a situation with Taurus, whether it would be a platonic friendship or perhaps like a romantic uh, slash sexual uh, one with Taurus. So you can make the, the, the kind of have things go a little bit uh, better that way. The, and, and the main disparity, another main disparity between the two is the obvious thing that Taurus being a feminine side is more introverted and is more connected uh, with the home and domestic activities. While Aries likes to, has more of that adventurous side and likes to go outdoors and be out and be more gregarious and, and be sociable with others. Well, anyway, it's important in, uh, in this to look at the aspect, if there is any, between uh, these energies, as this could indicate how these energies, how they maybe could give a little added compatibility or maybe not as much so. Now, if you have a conjunction, let's say, for example, that the Aries sun is at 29 degrees and the Taurus, I'm sorry, Aries sun, moon, or ascendant is at 29 degrees and the Taurus sun, moon, or ascendant is at 2 degrees. Well, that could form a con that would form a conjunction aspect, which could be very intensifying, and you might have that initial spark, but at the same time, it could also produce some some friction. So I see this as kind of neutral, and it'd probably be important, really more, really strongly, to look at the other aspects in the uh, sinistry chart now, or chart I should say charts between these two people. Now, in some cases, you can have a sextile aspect between these two energies you let's say the person has an aries sun moon or ascendant at one degree and the person has uh, other person has a sun moon ascendant uh, in taurus at 28 degrees well that could be auspicious and positive and even though you still it's neutral by sign the compatibility these energies may integrate a little bit better than otherwise indicated and these people might be a little, say, be a little bit more adaptable to each other's, uh, maybe the negatives or what they perceive maybe as negatives in each other and be able to work through them. Now, you could also have a semi-sextile aspect take place between these energies. Uh, and that, that I call slightly positive, as many of you may know, because it's not a major aspect, but it's, it's, it's a minor one, but it's still positive and auspicious. And you could have some positive blending with these two energies this way. Now, let's say somebody has an Aries sun, moon, or ascendant at 18 degrees, and the person has a, a Taurus sun, moon, or ascendant at 18 degrees. Well, that, I call that slightly positive and does can have some positive integration and blending than otherwise indicated, but because it's minor or not major, it's not as strong as an actual uh, major aspect like, like the sex, like a sex style would be. Now, you could also have a semi-square aspect take place in some cases between these energies. Let's say that the Aries sun, moon, or ascendant is at 13 degrees, and the other, and the other person has a Taurus sun moon or ascendant at 28 degrees that would form a semi-square aspect which really uh, could be slightly adverse or adversarial not as bad as a, an actual major adverse aspect or negative aspect but still it might cause a little bit more uh, tension uh, and exasperation because of this and it might be a little more difficult to work through uh, the differences and disparities between these two signs well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for uh, zodiac sign compatibility between Aries and Taurus. And stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about zodiac sign compatibility between Aries and Gemini. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, 
based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well